What's going on everyone? My name is Benny. We're back with Diamond Dynasty playing some events and it looks like I am the home team once again. Want to say hello. Hope you guys are having a great week. We're halfway through and I am super excited, man. Here we go. Let's see what Team Rally Fries is going to get into today. All right. I love it. We're playing an Xbox user and the game is already starting. Okay. And he's pausing. I'm assuming he is getting his bullpen warmed up. So we will do the same. Let's get Trevor Hoffman and Lee Smith ready to go. And let's see what's going to happen. Don't forget, daily videos every day at 10 a.m. Eastern. Sometimes I'm going to have double daily uploads. Not double daily, but double uploads for you. Um, but not every day. So let's get it started. As soon as my opponent is done pausing, you can see the ticker is already at a, a minute and 37 seconds. So... We might get the, the win if he just hangs out without even throwing a pitch, and we'll take it. So <laughs> let's see what he's going to do. Can't believe he's paused this long. Maybe he had to go to the bathroom. Who starts a game and then pauses this long? Like, who does that? I, I think the only people that do that are, like, you know, people who are being yelled at by their parents to get ready. <laughs> like, hey, what are you doing? You got to get ready for school. No, I'm playing a game. Let me pause it. Let me go get ready for school. You got to wait for me, okay? That's kind of, I think, what's going on right now. Or, you know, he just decided to start a game and he's like, okay, wait, maybe I don't want to play. <laughs> Either way, here we are. Sorry, the video is starting off like this, but not much I can do. 54 seconds until we get the dub. Kind of, uh, well, we could talk about some stuff. Yeah, what's today? December 8th. Wow, oh, that's right. So today, okay, my opponent is finally back and he's, you know, trying to stop me from pitching. What's going on, man? Uh, you're an annoying opponent, so I hope I beat you. And I hope when I get the lead, you don't quit. <clears throat> That's really what uh, what I hope happens here. There's a foul ball. Okay, so December 8th. Why do? Okay, I know exactly what happened. Yeah, now that I think about it. So in 1980, <laughs> you guys are like, when? 1980? That was like, what, 40 years ago? 41 years ago? Um, if you guys don't know who the Beatles are, the musical group, the Beatles. You guys, uh, if you love music, you should get to know who the Beatles were. Um, they are probably, without a doubt, the greatest musicians <clears throat> as I give up a home run. What a shock, man. Isn't it crazy how I've given up home runs like every day in the first inning? That is just insane. I don't understand how that happens. Uh, well, obviously, because I throw meat pitches. <laughs> All right, but anyway... Yeah, the Beatles uh, were the probably the most influential musical group ever, ever. I'm talking like even now. And uh, a lot of you guys are like, yeah, okay, yeah, the Beatles, old guys, old people, music, all that stuff. No, if you are a musician or have any kind of musical intuition, you would discover the Beatles are on another level. There is literally every musical thing you could have heard. And then there's the Beatles way up here. And unfortunately, on this day in 1980, one of the Beatles, John Lennon, <clears throat> was assassinated at his house. He was coming home from a day of work at the record, uh, the recording studio, and uh, a crazed fan was waiting for him. And when he went to walk into his house, that crazy fan walked right behind him and shot him three times. And that was it. John Lennon was gone. The world forever lost <clears throat> any chance at the Beatles playing uh, again. It's sad, too, because in the 70s, 1970, the Beatles stopped. They broke up. You know, so everyone was like, oh, one day they'll get back together, you know. And then in 1980, when John was taken, that ended that. So we never, ever got to see a Beatle reunion ever, which is, you know, probably the most... Obviously, the most heartbreaking thing, the tragic thing is John died, you know, and left behind a family with two kids. Um, actually, left behind two families. John Lennon wasn't exactly the nicest guy, you're going to learn, if you guys actually go check it out. But he was, without a doubt, <clears throat> one of the greatest musicians who ever lived. So, yeah, unfortunately, he was killed, assassinated in 1980 on this day. Yeah, pretty sad. I mean, the whole world stopped when that happened. I wasn't alive, but I've researched enough to know that, um, you know, there was even a Monday night football game happening where Howard Cosell interrupted and, and broke the news to everybody. Um, so it was really sad. If I'm not mistaken, if you guys go search it, even like three Beatles fans, like 
died. They like just committed suicide. <laughs> Sad. I mean, yeah, it was just a horrible event. <clears throat> the guy that killed him, he's a crazy guy. He he said, you know, he read the book Catcher in the Rye, and somehow that book made him do it. Um, yeah, he's still in jail, and uh, yeah, that's how it went. So that's what happened on December eighth in nineteen eighty. Today, forty one years ago. Okay, we're down one nothing. Dante Bichette. I also want to talk about a comment that I got recently. I I I, I saw someone say, Hey Benny, why don't you start your PCI up so that you're never, you know. Uh, it gives you a better chance to hold on pitches, and uh, I do do that. You guys, if, if you guys pay attention, I do that a lot. Um, I don't do it every time, but I do do it a lot. But the simple fact is, is that when you talk and play a game, you can't focus on the game. You're focused more on trying to keep talking. <laughs> so that's why I lose. You know that, and I suck. So, <laughs> all right, Luis Gonzalez. Let's see if we can actually put the PC on the ball. I haven't even come close so far. They've been all low pitches. <clears throat> so let's see if I can get something to drive here. I can't even... This is the other thing, problem with waking up early and then playing is that, you know, I'm not... My wits are not about me and my, my motor skills are still not awake and I just cannot catch up to the baseball. <laughs> the older you get, the harder it takes for you to, to, to uh, get used to catching up to the ball. Most of you wake up, you're like, let's go. Here we go. Oh, and two count, two outs. One. Mm, gave me a good pitch right there. Of course, the PCI was nowhere near the ball, and I was still late on it. So, oh, and two count. He's throwing some good pitches. Only one of them out of the plate. Here we go. Be smart. Can we? Oh, that ball's lifted, baby. Let's go. Just like that, we tie it up. Way back. Boom. God. Let's go. One to one. I love it, man. Okay, so we both. We both strike in the first inning. All right. Larry Doty. Let's see if we can go back to back. Back to back jacks. Finally caught up to one. Here's the pitch. Ah, oh, inside. Now I feel like I can hit everything. Just settle down. Don't swing at bad pitches. Here we go. 0 and 1. Oh, that's a great pitch. And I uh, got underneath it. I don't know how. I was set up here. I don't know how somehow my PCI went right there. Okay, here we go. 0 and 2. Ah, oh, we popped that up. Please get out of play. Looks like it is, and we are going to have another chance. Okay. He's keeping the ball up, so that's the good news. 0-2. Oh, oh, fighting that one off. That was probably strike three, but somehow, some way, we got a piece of it. <clears throat> Here we go. Another 0-2 oh count. Justin Verlander. Ah, oh, got me to hog at that one, and that's going to be three outs. Let's go to the second inning. Runner on second. We can walk this off with a base hit. Here we go, Dante Bichette. Oh, man, that's had, that should have been a home run. <laughs> Instead, it's an 0-1 count. Here we go, be smart. That's ripped. Does it? 91 speed. We're definitely going to send him to third. Oh, man, that's a nice throw, and I'm hosed. Wow. Tip my cap. That's all you can do. <laughs> all right. Luis Gonzalez, let's go, be smart. Ooh, good pitch, man. I thought that was a fastball. All right, 0-1 count. Here we go. Ooh, an 0-2 count. All right, two pitches, man. Oof. Be smart, Luis Gonzalez. Here we go. Boom, got a hold of that, and that is going to fall down. And we got a base runner. Okay, still got a chance here. Let's see what we could do. Larry Doby. Is, my, is this the first baseman who kept making errors? I hope not. Let's see if he could do something with his bat. <clears throat> Let's go. Be smart. That's a ball. Okay. We still got some life here with two outs. Come on. Oh. Top five. No. That's lifted. Is it going to be caught, though? Gone. Here we go. Oh, sit down. Good game. I'm out of here. Peace.